my name is Marley Soden, AKA Marley Makes Things, and I'm a hand lettering artist based in North Carolina. I'm so excited to be working with Adobe in the Adobe Stock Make It Happen series. And you know, I get to make a lot of really cool types of art for my job, but my favorite by far is working with food, doing my food lettering pieces or tactile lettering pieces. And it's kind of perfect because in today's brief, I will be creating a logo for a fictional restaurant and with Adobe Stock's help, I'll be creating some branding assets for that fictional restaurant as well. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. So I've decided to call my restaurant Sprinkles because I'm picturing it as a restaurant that you go to for milkshakes and birthday cake on your birthday. It's actually based off of a joke from one of my favorite TV shows, if you know, you know. And because it's such a playful, lighthearted concept, I wanted to give it a fun logo. So I'm starting off on Adobe Fresco by sketching out some ideas, just kind of brainstorming, very loose, rough sketches. So as I'm sketching out these ideas, I'm trying to make the logo feel fun and youthful and energetic so that it still has that kind of nostalgic feeling that I remember from having birthday parties as a kid. So once I've sketched a few designs out, I kind of narrow it down to my favorite, pick all my favorite elements, and then I start inking with the vector brush in Adobe Fresco. Once that's finished, I'm going to move this on over to Adobe Illustrator so that I can refine all of the details. Adobe Illustrator is my go-to these days for my logos because it's vector-based and you can scale up your artwork as large as you want to. I have been obsessed with pinks and peaches and reds together recently, and I think that fits perfectly with the brand, so that's what I'm gonna do. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into Adobe Stock because every restaurant needs a menu, so I'm just perusing the templates and I'm searching menu here. And I actually found one that's kind of perfect. It has a milkshake on the cover, so I'm gonna hit save to library. Also, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and look for some other assets that I can use for some graphics for the brand. So I'm searching for sprinkles here. And again, I found the perfect one. I'm loving this already. This menu design is pretty much perfect. I actually am not gonna change a whole lot. There are a lot of elements that I love that I'm going to keep. Like I love the milkshake elements, so I'm keeping that. And I'm gonna add my own sprinkles to it. Obviously it needs sprinkles. On top of that, I'm gonna take out some of the other design elements that are making it feel a little bit more cluttered for my taste. And I'm also going to tweak the menu, obviously, so I can add my own items. Moving on to the other Sprinkles graphic, I'm just doing a quick edit to the colors and then I'm gonna add my logo on top and edit some of these sprinkles so it feels like the real sprinkles are lying on top of the text. I think that would be such a cool graphic. She looks so cute, I love her so much. And lastly, you know I had to add a food lettering piece in here. I mean, I just couldn't, I couldn't help myself. So I took the Sprinkles logo and I made a food lettering piece out of, you guessed it, Sprinkles. I went ahead and photographed that and edited it really quickly in Lightroom. It actually didn't need too much retouching. And here's how that's looking. I, God, I just feel like this whole thing is coming together so well. I love it all. So let's recap everything we have. We have the logo that we created in Adobe Fresco and Adobe Illustrator. We have our Adobe Stock assets that created our menu and our additional graphics. We also have our food lettering piece and here's what everything looks like all together. I kind of love the way this turned out. I am obsessed. So thank you so much for watching. I had an absolute blast creating this branding project with the help of Adobe Stock. While you're here, go ahead and check out all of the other amazing artists in the Make It Happen series on the Adobe Creative Cloud YouTube channel.